Hey, this is John Bollinger with Premier Guitar. Today we're taking a look at the new D'Angelico Deluxe SS Baritone. I'll tell you all about this very cool guitar after you take a second to smash that shiny red button below to subscribe. That way we can keep you up to date on all this great guitar geekery. So, this is a very cool baritone. Obviously, D'Angelico is, you know, they're, they're known for that warm, woody, jazzy tone, and this has all of that. But with the baritone thing, that is its own thing unto itself. Here's the basic ingredients. It's a 15 inch wide semi-hollow body. There's a laminated maple top, back, and sides. Just beautiful. This is actually in a natural finish, but there's also a uh, satin trans wine as well. Three piece maple walnut neck that has a very slim C-shaped profile. I like that they have the stinger on back. I think that's really great. While we're here, these are these locking Grover tuners. I believe these are called the 509 Super Rotomatic locking. They've got that classic old school look to it, but they lock. Love the locking tuners. Ebony fingerboard, 12 inch radius. Uh, the scale is 26.75. There's just car fret wire, uh, bone nut. Uh, the width of the nut is 1 and 11 sixteenths. The pickups are these custom Seymour Duncan D'Angelico Great Dane P90s. And why don't I just kind of take it through a few tones and you can see what it sounds like. So for my signal chain, I'm running it straight into my modest pedal board, which is a overdrive, a delay. And for something a little weird, we're going to run into a, an adrenaline later on so you can hear it doing weird things. We're running that into a Fender Pro Reverb, and that's being mic'd with a 57 and sent out to you. Now, what I love, what everybody loves about D'Angelico is just this old school kind of art deco-y kind of design with the staircase right there. Everything's so rococo with the, with the multi-ply binding matching there. That ornate, crazy headstock, even the binding on the neck. Man, they really leaned into the binding on their guitars, and they're just beautiful. So I came in on the neck pickup, which is kind of, I think, the money on, on, on D'Angelico's, just for that, that warm, jazzy, woody tone. And to me, it's really, this baritone has that great bassy thing, if you're a person that likes to do kind of the walking, walking deal. Just great. And then when you're playing with it. Just great, right? Now let's kick on the box of rock and you can hear a little dirt on it. Cool, right? Now combining both pickups, great kind of strummy tone. Just a great tone. Bridge alone. Well, 
Like on a country session, I would use this for something like that. Great thing about that, you can play the simplest part and it's just huge. There's nothing bigger. Then a, then a baritone clean going through a tremolo with that sound. Just the simplest part is just huge. So I love that tone. Now if we add a little bit of dirt to it. That is just a huge kind of unexpected tone. And baritone's an interesting thing. I think uh, it's not, you know, it's not something that most of us will use every day. But when you're in a session and you can pull out a weirdo tone like that and see everybody kind of smile like, yes, that's what it needed. It's very gratifying. So again, it's a specialty tone, but some people, baritone is their thing. It can certainly do that because it's got so much in it. So, for about 2,200 bucks, you can uh, surprise your friends at a session and have that very cool thing. Or, it could just become your thing. D'Angelico, you've, you've uh, got a long history of making, making amazing instruments, and it's very cool that you have brought this into your line. It's something, something different and covers a lot of sonic spaces that, that there aren't I'm not aware of a lot of baritone, hollow body guitars that can do the jazzy thing and whatever else. So good on you, very impressive. To read the full written review, go to premierguitar.com. While you're online, make sure you like us on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and all that social media crap. Uh, go ahead and subscribe to our YouTube channel, subscribe to the magazine, maybe buy a t-shirt while you're there. This is John Bolger, till next time, now let's really get weird and try this adrenaline with it. Thank <laughs> you.